And that's the key to success, yeah. right? Eating right is even yeah. more important than the working out because when you eat right, you're putting the right fuel in so that your body can actually conform the way your muscles are supposed to look, the way you want to yeah. look. Then it's just going to the gym and going through the motions. Yeah. Get your muscles going through the motions, yeah. literally. And, you know, that brings us right into, like, fitness. Like, so many people ask us, what are you guys eating? It's not whatever. No. Like, every day. I wish. All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, welcome back to an episode of the In Between Podcast. I'm your host, Matt, and with my lovely co-host, Jenna. Hello. And uh, we've got um, a cool topic. I'm a topic I'm really excited about to cover today. We're going to jump right into it, but it's the topic of fitness. And, um, you know, just from a general broad standpoint, like how healthy is your life? Whether that's you as, you know, a good employee at your job, whether that's you as a business owner, whether that's you as a mom or a dad, like what does your health look like? I know we all have obstacles in life. Some of us are dealt some different hands in life and have to adapt in other ways. But the overall topic of fitness became super evident the last 12 months in my life, in your life, in our home. Mm -hmm. So you want to kick us off and kind of talk to us a little bit? Yeah. Well, can you tell me why? Like what switched for you and maybe bring us up to speed? What what did a year ago look like for you going into August? Okay. A year ago going into August, I just from a weight standpoint, and it's not so much about numbers, but to give you a context, I'm I'm five foot 11 and I weighed almost 270. So I weighed like 265, something like that. And um, I wasn't like trying to lose weight at that point either. Um, And I was working a lot and driving still to a lot of different appointments and eating fast food just about every day, just trying to survive. Uh, Whataburger was a crutch of mine, delicious cheeseburgers and French fries, but didn't do anything for my energy come two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon when I still really needed to kind of push through to the end. And I found that when I was getting to the end of the day, when I got to my family, the most precious time I should have, you know, with my children and with my wife, I had no energy. Yeah. I was like, I got to go to bed. I was seeking alternative things. You were sweating to, constantly. I, I was, I was sweating all the all time. The time. You, you, you carried a towel around. Yeah. Like I was TD Jakes, <laughs> like preaching a message or something. I was literally like dabbing my forehead. We'd be at like an event. Jenna's like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, it's Oklahoma. It's hot. Like, right. That's not normal. And it is hot, but she's like, it's not normal. And you were probably right. I always justified it. I was like, no, Oh, it's fine. I'll probably sweat on this podcast. We would go so. over to people's houses and they'd be like, Matt, I got the AC yeah. real low yeah. for they'd you. They'd preset the AC to like 68 because they knew we were you coming and I'd be like, oh man, it's hot in here. So anyway, <laughs> uh, I was not in a yeah. healthy state. Um, if you back up even further, like coming out of high school, I played college football, so I was in great shape. I say great shape back then, but it was more like how much you can lift, how fast you can perform at the combine. I was younger a lot then. I wasn't so interested in this fitness journey becoming what I used to be when I was 18. I wanted to be a lot leaner, healthier version of myself. Like one thing when I played college football, you'd be like, you played college football, you couldn't even do this. I could never do pull-ups. Yeah. I just could never really like build my lats enough and I didn't need to in like the the sport I was playing. But like I just never got to that point. And I was like, just coming home, being able to play with your kids and have energy and like perform in life, right? So um it was you who like you okay, got well, you got I, healthy first. Why? So why? I bought you a gym, gym membership. You said why? Yeah, you bought me a gym membership no, like a year before. A that. year before that, and I never he went. Never even one activated time. it. What a waste! He never even went and got his ID card to check in. <laughs> no ID card. I just wasn't. Why? <laughs> I just I I yeah. I it wasn't. just wasn't for you at the time, but I thought it would maybe encourage it. And uh, I've always been an athlete, and I've always you know I've run marathons, half marathons, and very athletic, but I've had kids in the past five years. And so for, for women, it's a different journey for me. It was never like, I'm going to like, let myself go. I wouldn't say I'd let myself go or like, like, you know, I'm at this really unhealthy 
point, it was just, I've had two babies and two C-sections and been cut open. Um, yeah. And you can't come back from that. And so, yeah. um, so what does that look like? I kind of had to redefine the health aspect. So for me, I knew, I think what really kicked it in gear for you was that in summer of 2023, I realized we just had our last baby. We'd made that decision. We're mm -hmm. not going to have any more kids. Yeah. Um, and for me, that's what kind of switched in my mind. Like, okay, I'm going to um, get back in. I'm going to start being athletic again. I'm going to start not just being athletic. I think when you, you got to define that, like we're not people that just go to the gym. Like we are actually 30 something adults that go play basketball. <laughs> we're training together. We go For play what? basketball I have no tonight. Idea. I have a tennis match yep. on a tennis league team. Yep. 8 PM. Um, you cycle, like yeah. we do other things outside of the gym. So it was more so like, we got to get back in our rhythm and yeah. like kind of get back to, or for me, it was like that for you. You've it been was, at it at, since, since college football. I literally, yeah. okay. Okay. So I, uh, to not get too far into the weeds, I played one year of college football, decided it wasn't for me, ended up quitting the team, still wanted to like party. Like I was a football player, got in some trouble. And when I quit playing football, that was in 2007, yeah, 2007. 2007 to 2008. I just like quit working out. Yeah. I like, I think I worked, worked out, out for like then. three months yeah. after I quit the team. And then I was like, meh, like I went through mm -hmm. college. I went through teen challenge. I went through yeah. a bunch of different programs. I went through ministry training. I went through all of these seasons of, okay, this is what success looks like here. This is what success looks like here after rebuilding my life. But it, uh, it you never was, out. it was never a, a priority never to, to go to the yeah. gym. You never went for a run. And if yeah. I went to the gym, here's what the gym looked like. It looked like some curls. It looked like maybe going on the bench press. And then it looked like maybe walking on the treadmill for like five minutes and then I'd leave. So like all in five like minutes. 20, 20 minutes. It's going to move the needle. And they're like, you only got to go to the gym <laughs> three times a week. And you know what? That's what a lot of people it. do. Yeah. No, I mean, like we see that too, though. Yeah. That's what a lot of people do. They're like, well, I'm going, but they go and they don't, not just like yeah. your presence at crunch yeah. doesn't like yeah. activate fitness in yeah. your life. Like go sweat, like yeah. go act like you're training for a game that yeah. you don't have or yeah. a tennis match that you do have. Like yeah. just go do it. Like, yeah. and the biggest thing for me was realizing like cycling is a big thing, mm -hmm. but like knowing that you're competing against yourself. Yeah. Even when you cycle, you cycle in a race, right? But when you don't, you're cycling on your time. Like your time. last time I right. did this route, I right. track all my stuff on Strava. Right. And you know, I get all giddy when I come in from a huge long ride and I had like 12 PRs yeah. because they, they give you PRs on different sections in those yeah. races. So you're constantly at competition with yourself. Yeah, and I think you and I just thrive on faster. that. That's why I've always loved running is that yeah. like, there might be hundreds of people, thousands in a race, um, depending on the race you do, but I'm at competition with my my time right. to be better than I was the day before. Um, and it always kicks my butt, even though I think I've mastered it and I've like yeah. beat it. Like a PR is like such a, such a milestone, such a milestone. It's like such a reason it's like, to wow, celebrate. I got it today, but I probably tomorrow I'm probably going to run a 12 minute mile or something. Or, or you got like three PRs on yeah. your segment and you're like, man, cause it always asks you at the end of your race, how did you feel? Right. And if I wasn't maxed out, I'm like, I could have went farther. Yeah. I could have went better. And yeah. that's kind of the addiction a little bit behind yeah. it. The addiction is actually seeing physical weight fall off yeah. of you. That feels good. That feels great. Um, but then like the health, the mental aspect yeah. to like getting healthier yeah. and like actually burning more calories yep throughout the day and yeah. making that your standard yeah. without tracking everything on my watch. Like there's yeah. no way I would have ever like yeah. known if I was getting better, if right. I had a heavier day, yeah. how hard well, can I push myself yeah. for a 36 year old? How hard can my heart actually beat? That's like healthy. Yeah. That's considered cardio. And I never cardio. If you would yeah. have asked me as a football player, you want to go run Heck no. Yeah. Like I want to go sprint and tackle someone and then get a break for a second, yeah. six second break, and then go, go at it again. Like I didn't want to do continuous forms, but continuous. if I found something I knew weight one would fall off. So I would be happier there, but two, I would start to get stamina again, like in life, yeah. be able to make it to the end of the day, sleep better, have totally. dreams again. Like yeah. all of the things that it's like really impacted your sleep a ton. I oh remember my we gosh. were 
debating on ne- needing to get you t- sleep tests over sleep apnea. Yeah, because you were just your stop snoring breathing was out of general. control. You would <laughs> so like, like stop breathing in the middle of the night, and I'm like, oh my gosh, swallowed like, a June bug. This is crazy. Um, it's like. So the biggest thing, the biggest pivot was last summer. I remember um, we decided we're not going to have any more babies. Um, and I kind of made the switch that I was like, you know, if, if I'm going to do this, this is going to be a team effort with my, yeah, focus. you're like, if I'm doing this, you're <laughs> doing, doing this. this, you're doing this. Um, and I, and like, I remember right. we got bikes last summer, just, just mountain yeah. bikes. Um, and I started riding my bike and you started your, riding your bike just around our neighborhood. We were, yeah. Like when I say we got bikes, we just like got bikes to ride we down went the to street. Dick's and like yeah. ordered like bought the ones right off just there like right, i don't even like know if all store. the screws were yeah. tightened on mine like the brakes and, were reversed, uh, but so it was fun. that was that was august going into august yep. i remember and then september happened and we just kind of rode our bikes into the fall and then the day before my 32nd birthday so october 4th 2023 um i signed up for our crunch membership. Yeah. So crunch is a gym that went in, um, down the road from us last year, uh, last late last summer. Yeah. And it had just opened up and I had some friends that, and I was on the waiting list to go anyways, but I just like needed the extra kick to do it. Yeah. And I had some friends, one of my best girlfriends called me and was like, I, okay, I did it. I signed up. You got to get in there. It's so nice in there. And everyone was just kind of getting started with the gym and it just opened. And, um, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to, you're right. Like she went, so I went, we got all signed up. It was a day before my 32nd birthday and it came with, um, a little bit of complimentary personal training cause they just opened. That's so right. yeah. I went and I did all of my testing. I signed up for personal training. It was the day before. And that was the day I did not step out of the gym since then. Yeah. Like I, I maybe, I've, I've been, I've been in the gym unless we're out of town, unless I'm like so sick too which has been like only a couple times but yeah. i've been in that gym every single day I and know. you know sometimes we'll we'll swap and we'll go for a long cycle ride instead but most of the time like, i'll pull it to like a day that. too like i yeah. just really enjoy yeah. going into the gym i really enjoy the sauna and i found i think if you're listening and you're like i can't find a flow how did you do that Honestly, I found a place I love. Like, I love our gym. I love our gym. It's easy. It's a part of my rhythm, my flow. I'm also, I've I've made myself become a morning person, and that's not for everyone. Yeah, commitment. But I am up at every 5 5 a.m. and 5.30, 6 at the latest, you know, and you can usually see me going out the door, getting to the gym. I like to get it done before 7.30 in the morning, before the kids, before you're up, before everyone's up. Get your calorie burn done, before yeah. anyone even wakes that, up. That is a nice part. For and me, it's... being a mom, I remember last year when I started working out, I actually loved doing that early in the morning because no one needed me. Yeah. There wasn't anyone right. that it's I was quiet. like thinking about or like, you know, Except everyone was the asleep. Dogs, you know. Yeah, uh-huh. some of the dogs uh-huh. wanting to go outside yeah. at 5 a.m. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that was a big tipping point for us. So I went in and then two weeks later, you went in and you actually yeah. went. <laughs> I went with you and I was your guest yes. and I went for free uh-huh. and I worked out and I loved the sauna and I was like, yeah. you know, and, it what, was they, so close to the and house. what they had was like a hit bike yeah. or like an echo bike or an assault bike, they call it a CrossFit training bike. And yeah. they had two of them at the time. I say two because one uh, isn't working anymore and hasn't been for yeah. a long time, but I think we wore it out. Yeah. Maybe. I think you actually, I it. went every day after I saw you going every day. Yeah. And I was like, when I first started, it was like Rocky Balboa. I went with like baggy yeah. sweatshirt <laughs> tied up. Like I was a wrestler Trash wanted bags. to sweat as much yeah. as possible, but yeah. I knew if I just tracked my heart yeah. rate and I just stayed on here. And I, if I thought I was going to like throw up or I needed a break, I just like no football coach is screaming down my neck yeah. anymore. Just, just give yourself a break for yeah. a second, but keep, yeah. get back at it. Yeah. And if you can learn to just get back at it and perform even better when you are tired Mm -hmm. your decision making starts to become a whole lot clearer you just are sharper all around not to mention like you get in better shape so I started going and I watched you get I didn't use a physical trainer I was all prideful I know my workouts and I was a collegiate athlete and all these things but I'm watching Jenna just go at it her trainer Tim 
such a stud. Shout out to Tim. Shout out he to Tim. He went to Tim. the Mexican NFL. Yeah, he's playing <laughs> ball in Mexico, just crushing it. We watch you and we cheer you on on social, bro. Just keep doing your thing. But anyway, I was I like, had, I had a good amount of weight to lose from having babies. I thought your trainer was Ezekiel Elliott. Yeah, I'm like, he who's that like dude Elliott. who looks like Ezekiel he Elliott? He had me doing football. Looks like a running back. But you know, I appreciate back. Tim because in, if you're listening, you're like, oh my gosh, I definitely am not doing that then. Yeah, I will say this with personal training at crunch, at least it is very geared towards what you need. Yeah, and for right. Tim, Tim knew I was a former athlete. Yeah. Tim knew what I was capable of. Tim knew he like pushed you. he pushed me because in th- so I don't want to scare anyone, but he definitely did have me doing like sled pushes. He definitely did. You have had, me I came to work out with you and you're crawls. like, you're doing what I'm doing. And it was like what I used to do, like freshman year yeah. college football, yeah. like bear crawling hundred yards yeah. down and back, push the sleds. Yeah. I was like, I looked at you. I was like, I was doing tire flips. I was so tired. I just kept like at my watch going oh it's all good we're burning a lot of calories just keep going and as long as like you're not passing out yeah. you're not like unhealthy yeah keep pushing no, he it definitely, he definitely your body me. can handle so much yeah. more yeah i say that and i say that with caution because obviously if you know you have certain limitations yeah. take what i said and go but you can go way harder yeah. than you go totally i can go should you and can you yeah. are two totally different yeah. questions and how do you like equip your mind to be able to have longevity to go farther yeah. not just with your physical abilities one thing that i felt when we started this journey last year that felt different about you is that you were very committed to learning the technicalities behind fitness and you were more committed to learning like if i'm in the gym and we, like what you're talking about earlier, when you're like, people go to the gym and they're like, okay, well, I went and I for 30 minutes and I thought I did a good job. I went for three months I, I don't and know. I didn't lose I went, any weight. Um, I hear that. So for the biggest thing with you that I saw was that you really started studying the physicalities behind it all. And you started studying your heart rate and the science behind that and how, what does your heart rate need to be at? And you started really utilizing your watch more to help you know what you needed to burn. So can you... I guess break that down to someone who's like a very yeah. elementary. So, like, I mean, very simple. There, You can set a lot of goals, you know, for your Apple Watch or any activity, Fitbit, Garmin, activity tracker, right? Um, mine has a heart rate monitor and it tracks my heart rate all day. If I wore it when I slept, it would track my heart rate when I slept too. But I charge it at night because I use it pretty heavily during the day. And what I did was I started just upping my goals you have three different goals yeah. when you look at your watch. So when you pull up your goals, um, you've basically got your calorie burn. You've got your exercise time. Mm-hmm. Like I want to work out at least 60 minutes every single day. So one hour every single day. Yeah. That would be more than the norm, more than the average that they would say, well, I had weight I wanted to lose. Right. So I needed to do something just like when I was playing football, you start the season, you start with two a days, you start with two a day conditioning, conditioning your body to get you to a point where the season starts and you can perform, right? I don't know when that season is getting there or when this yeah. like training stops, but I slowly started to up my goal. I was just interested in calories and I was interested in workouts. So like making myself do a workout, not just my daily active. I walked a lot actually right. today, like making it, if it is a walk, go for a walk, set your watch and like try to walk a little faster. So like, when you get on the hit bike that you were talking about, yes. what do you set your watch to? What it, what type of workout is so that? So my watch is set for every day when I go to, when I wake up and then yeah. I go to sleep to burn just under 2,000 calories. 2,000 calories a day. It's at 1,850. Burn. And how often do you hit that goal? Every day. Matt, that's not normal. Over. So how do we normalize that? How, so, how, like, so how did start, you get there? How did you go from doing nothing to burning 2,000 Because if you ride the day? hip bike for 30 minutes, you'll find out And your when you goal, go to set your watch, what do you what do you run that as? I, hit, I, hit interval workout? I, I run it as a high-intensity interval training workout. Okay. Why? Because even if I'm on the bike for like 40 minutes, which is something okay. crazy, I'm not riding it as hard as I possibly What's can What's a good heart rate 40. you're aiming for? I'm... Well, I'm for aiming you, yeah, as a man. for me. I mean, my max, yeah. like to get it up there where I shouldn't be getting it much higher mm-hmm. is like 176. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for me personally, I aim for about 150. Yeah. 
So, I mean, mine, that's my like all in though. Yeah. That's my like stage yeah. five red. Like yeah. I'm, I shouldn't be operating at the, yeah. what I should be doing is getting up to that often yeah. Yeah. and letting it come all the way down and then getting back up to yeah. it and letting it come all the way down. That's interval, interval training, training and your body responds, burns fat at a faster rate yeah. in the in between, the like the in between stages. Yeah. It's your body is constantly like a transmission shifting over and over again. And I didn't go to school and study science or anything, but I, I am kind of lazy in the fact that if I'm going to work out and I'm going to do this, I want to burn the max amount of calories in an hour. If I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it right, what am I going to eat? So, I mean, I know that goal is crazy, but you said like, how do we get there? How does one start, you know, start? What was the starting goal for you? I don't, whatever Apple watch makes your default. I think think it's 300. Yeah. No, it's like 300 calories. And then I upped it from 300 to 500 500. after a couple of weeks of just pushing it. Cause I was like, if I stay on this bike long enough and can just get, once you're tired, you're tired, right? Like what difference does it make if your legs are moving and you're tired? Like you're not going to be pushing it and giving it your all those last 20 minutes if I stay on for 40. Yeah. But like if I push it hard in the first 20, like I just had a football workout and then I coast, my heart rate is still going. You're still burning so much fat. Yeah. And that bike gets you like shredded. It it like cuts your muscle tone. For sure. Rogue Fitness. This is not sponsored, but I will take any piece of Rogue equipment made in America. Um, but I have an Echo Bike upstairs yeah. in our attic. I have a workout space in the attic, which it's a little warmer in there yeah. too. So, so eventually, we got you got your own Echo Bike, which was nice to have at the house because now I you're stopped not abusing the one at abusing the gym. the one at the gym. Um, Shout out Crunch. And yeah, it has made all the difference for you. So now at at this point, you know we're you're down how much? How many? I mean, almost eighty pounds. So. Uh, not quite. I, so yeah, I'm, I'm at like 192 right now and I've kind of like hovered there. Um, my goal, just so you guys know, my goal was 185. I never technically have met that yet, but what I was finding was in order to like, yeah, I could lose five pounds by just like intermittent fasting and then like not really doing it the right way. When I'm burning, I had a guy run into me at the gym and he saw how many calories I was burning. He watched me. He's like, you're like melting on that machine. Just sweats pouring off. And he's like, you must be eating like three, 4,000 calories a day. And I'm like priding myself on like intermittent fasting and doing, that's how I'm cutting weight and all this stuff. And I did that a little bit in the beginning, but I realized that like, it's not, it's not healthy yeah. either. Your body needs enough fat Fuel. to so burn. So if you're burning this much, you need to be explode. fueling it right. twice to three your times macros, as much. Right? Yes. And that's the key to success, yeah. right? Eating right is even yeah. more important than the working out because when you eat right, you're putting the right fuel in so that your body can actually conform the way your muscles are supposed to look, the way you want to yeah. look. Then it's just going to the gym and going through the motions. Yeah. Get your muscles going through the motions, yeah. literally. And, you know, that brings us right into like fitness, like so many people ask us, what are you guys eating? It's not Whataburger. No. Like every day. I wish. Although we had it. I've had it one, <laughs> one time, time. One time since I got clean, I call it. Like, and I, uh, it did no taste fries, delicious. Though. You just had a burger. And it was yeah. honestly just because our kids wanted it. And uh, they gave us literally a free burger in the God. bag. And was I was God. like, I'm eating it. <laughs> they gave us a free burger. And I was like, that's it. That's in there. I'm taking that. Yeah. So yeah, that anyway, so um, no one died. I didn't feel like the greatest afterwards, yeah. though. And it was but just we like, you're fine. More... I think that's something to be said is that all right, let's talk nutrition real quick. Yeah. We eat very high protein to put it in perspective. We're just high protein, very high um, in meats, very high in veggies, very high in fruits. We eat your good kind of sugars. Um, we're also, Greek I would yogurt. say, yeah, Greek yogurt. I would say um, we're also lactose free on our dairy stuff for the, for most, the most part. part yeah. And then I would say, um, we're very, if you could put a name on our type of diet or a palate, it's probably keto, keto friendly. It's similar um, to keto. Very we, similar. We buy a lot of keto centered type yeah. foods if we find them at the supermarket or whatever. But like, I just, yeah, we just try to like, protein is key. Keep it clean. We stay away from fried. As I try much as not possible. to eat a ton of yeah. carbs, but we eat carbs. We do. Like, we do we eat carbs. We go out to Mexico yeah. all the time. Yeah. Those chips ain't 
like carb free, gluten yeah. free, like nothing. Yeah. So we we try to eat corn tortillas with yeah. our tacos, yeah. stuff like that. I've cut out sour cream yeah. and only use yeah, like just guac little pivots. Or I think that's something to just take away. Like there's a lot of little pivots salsa. you could make. I make my own salsa now. Eggs. Eggs. I, Matt I eat eats probably a lot of too many eggs yeah. for like the cholesterol. Matt so eats that's a something lot of I'm eggs. like experiencing <laughs> right now. But like. I eat a lot of protein. Like yeah. I try, I, I have I a, eat a lot of peanut butter. I try to eat like 200 grams of protein yeah. a day, which is like, protein sometimes shakes. I can nail it. Sometimes I'm yeah. like, Ooh, I didn't eat right today. Yeah. So, um, yeah. but it's getting it back, getting back on the bike, so yeah. to speak. It's just getting right back into yeah. it and going. So. But it's also not killing yourself in the process. That's right. one thing about us that think anyone outside looking in, like I still eat chips and queso. Yeah. I can, I'm going to be honest. I can live without chocolate. I can live without sugar. I can live without desserts. I can't live without chips. Like I'm a salty person. Or a margarita. Or a margarita. Yeah. Like I still have a margarita. Like yeah. you don't, you don't deprive yourself of these things that you, yeah. you do love, but you eat them in moderation. I, in the beginning part, I, pretty much cut out like I was drinking beer I stopped drinking beer just because I didn't want to keep putting myself in a hole if yeah. like I went and had a really good workout like yeah. even though it was enjoyable yeah. like ugh, it. that'd be yeah. all my calories for right. the whole day yeah like that I was gonna consume um, but then you know it's important to do what you love as well and I'm not saying drink if that's what you right. love to drink I'm saying mixed in moderation you should be proud at the fact that you've already got the burn that you got today because your walk yeah. showed you you woke up you made the decision you dedicated yourself and like yeah don't go bonkers and like have a little bit more restraint i'm yeah. terrible nighttime snacking yeah. it's like just get me to go to bed one <laughs> i should be in bed anyway and two if i wander into the pantry it's like it's bad news bears yeah but, but valley pop saves the day valley pop <laughs> finding <laughs> Substitutes, substitutes that are like guilt free <laughs> that like okay you can indulge a little bit and yeah still nearly not what it was yeah. so okay well let's as we're kind of wrapping up here what does the next year look like for you fitness wise to continue to just uh not maintain but continue to i still have some more like body fat like i track my body fat index and things like that so it's <laughs> continuing to lift more mm -hmm. and build more muscle um but yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say I've arrived, I'm, but I'm pretty happy with where I'm at in yeah. terms of, like, I feel different. Yeah. So. Oh, you look great. Thanks. I appreciate it. You look great, too. Thanks. I never would have started going if it wasn't for you. And, yeah, you're down some serious weight as well. So. Yeah. Babies are, babies are gone, and <laughs> here we go. We're going to be signing up for half marathons and triathlons and yep. who knows what else. So Love it. stay tuned. Well, thanks so much for tuning in with us today, guys. Uh, we appreciate you, and we will catch you on the next episode.